Well, I'm at Fenbrook, and uh, you can see they've started on the roof. That's what the pitch would be. All these people, all these people trying to get to work. Man, if they knew what I knew, they would retire. They'd quit immediately. They wouldn't spend another day striving in time. If I knew what I knew when I was 21 with when my babies were not even born, I was 23 when my first one was born, I would have retired right then and only done what the heart desired to do. But um, man, I didn't know. I, I didn't have a clue. But uh, it's like that. People are striving time till they realize that they're 80 something years old and they never really accomplished their life's purpose just to be, just to have time to be is a blessing. And, uh, well, that's enough. Uh, I, there's a story I want to tell about a movie called Click, but um, I'll do it. I'll do it later. This ain't the time or place. But, man, that movie, The Click, Click Adam Chandler. I think that's who it is yeah that is such a cool movie all right they're on their way to getting it done look at that well I want to show you something this is my cycling shoes I don't know if you can see that real good or not but that thing is almost wore out this one is my right foot. And this is this one is my left. This one, and that one's right. But this is the foot that, as I'm stopping, I slide. There, I, I've noticed it, so I stopped trying to do it. But would you look at how worn out that thing is? Okay. Why am I showing you my shoes? because they need replacing and I don't want to replace them. It's like they still work. They still do the job, but they do have some slop. You know, slop. You know, it's like extra movement inside it. What's up? Yeah. You on the blog? Come on, buddy. You on the blog? <laughs> you in it? <laughs> oh, what else they own it for? He ain't on it. He's in it. He's in, he'll be in the blog. Okay. Now the question is: leave a comment and um, tell me, do I need new shoes, biking shoes, bicycle shoes? Um, let me give you an idea of how old these are. When I bought my first road bike, I I bought these shoes. And um, so that was 19, I think it was 1996, something like that. So, okay, I just thought I'd show you my biking shoes. They're getting old. Yep, they're getting old. Wow. 
I gotta quit sliding on this one. Look at that. It still grips. All right, I showed you my biking shoes. Now let me finish the uh, piece of conversation I was saying about uh, the movie Click with Adam Chandler in it. I had been awake a few years. My youngest daughter, Brittany, had already started her family. And um, she came to me and she said that she wanted me to watch a DVD with her and it was called The Click by Adam Chandler. So we watched it and I'm telling you man, about 20 minutes into it, I realized that this was a movie of consciousness and it had a real spiritual meaning for me. Now I'm not saying it's got that meaning for everybody, but I'm just saying it showed me that I was fast forwarding my life from the time she was a baby until I woke. And on August the 17th, 2003, I woke up. So this is probably a couple of years after that that we watched the movie. And if you watch the movie, you'll see that most people spend their whole life living for the future and trying to plot and plan how to get the next good job. And the time that they're with their family, they're in this uh, remote type of being. Like I was there at the recitals, I was there at the baseball games, I was there at the school meetings, but I really wasn't. I wasn't present. So I, I was in my own thinking and not realizing what, how precious the moment is, the nows. This is now, a segment of time that is self-realized by me. And I'm trying to say this to people. If you really knew who you really were, you would retire. If you had a job, I'm just saying if you had a job you really hated, you would quit that job. You would retire from that job. And then you would set the intention to find, well, set the intention to find a good job before you quit a job. But uh, I remember in school, I told this one teacher, I must have been in the third, fourth grade, I told this teacher, I said, something's wrong with the world and she said what and I said everybody believes they have to go work a job she says they do and I I said it's not right it's not it's something's wrong now was I awake at, at that age no did I have a glimpse of uh, the true reality of the matrix at that age yes but um Man, watch the movie. If you're living for the next uh, raise or the next promotion, you've done spent years and years striving in time and you, you turned around and your babies were really little and then you turn back around and they're freaking grown and you don't know where the time really went, watch the movie. Click Adam Chandler, all right? That's what I'm saying. <laughs> If I knew what I knew now at 21, I would have retired then. Or I'd have done it so consciously aware of the now moments, the presence of time, that I would have accelerated my potential to have the, the right job. I did get good jobs every now and then, but boy, they were few and far in between. All right. Buddy must be sleeping. I hope he's sleeping. Buddy! He lives to be another day old. He's three days old. Buddy! Buddy, buddy, buddy! But he's three 
days old. He's getting bigger. Bigger and bigger. I know he is an alpaca. The internet told me that limas have little short ears and they don't get but about a 170 pounds full. These are alpacas. They can get up to 450 pounds and they got banana shaped ears. I think Buddy might be feeding. I think Buddy may be getting some milk. Huh. Well, that's going to make him put on some weight. That's for sure. You have any luck, Buddy? All right, everybody. I thought I'd show you Buddy. He's okay. Turkeys were still here. I figured they wouldn't even come this way, but they're here. They were the see. Look at the little one. I'm at Vista Lane. This sign is taken down. There's no road sign here anymore. Somebody took it down. But this is what they're doing. They're building a house. You got quite a few people working on it. This should go really fast. Yeah, you see that see that sign right there right or uh, green that was the kind of sign they had right up on that pole right there but it ain't there no more it is gone they took it down but that's where we're at we're at vista lane hey everybody this is buddy well, I want to show you what a llama is. They got short ears and they're small. That stirred up the dogs. These are Buddy, buddy's at a little cocky. 
He's got really short ears. Hey buddy. Hey buddy. Buddy, buddy, buddy. Come here. Wow. He's really close to me. <laughs> buddy. Show us that pretty face. Set up a, a llama cam to have people watching Buddy 24 7. All the rest of the family's just chilling. There's a big old buck. You know, he ain't got much of an ear either, does he? days old already. <laughs> he got excited. No ears. No ears got excited and farted. Snorted out his nose and farted at the same time. Big old buck doing the dust road. Look at that. Wow. Well, I'm gonna leave it with you, buddy. I'll be back later. Have a good day. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna head to the Hacienda. Ooh, this is my second lap. I kinda thought I was gonna do three today, but I'm just gonna take my time, and if my, when my body says I, I'm ready to do three, I'll feel it, but right now, I gotta get to my, my turnaround spot and then uh, I may know better what I wanna do then. Bye, buddy! Buddy, 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 buddy! <laughs> Alright, I'll talk to you guys.